Welcome back to Train Signal's VMware vSphere 5 training. You're watching Installing and Configuring VMware Tools lesson. So we've created the virtual machine. We've installed our guest operating system. In this lesson, what I want to focus on are the VMware tools. The VMware tools are a subset of drivers and applications and configuration stuff that you install post-install of the guest operating system in order to enhance the functionality and performance of that guest operating system. There are VMware tools for all the guest operating systems that are out there. It is best practice to have those VMware tools installed because it ties the virtual machine to the rest of the virtual infrastructure. Not only does it uh, give you enhanced drivers for the video, the NIC, etc., but it also allows certain aspects, certain things to tie into the, the VM. So for example, if you're using backups, and if you want to back up the virtual machine, and that backup software that you're using wants to use the value of shadow copy that's inside of the, the Windows operating system, it usually uses the APIs and the framework that VMware Tools provides in order to connect to the VSS. So VMware Tools overall gives you a lot of good and enhanced features. So we're going to talk about why you need to install VMware Tools, <laughs> not that we haven't talked about it already. We're going to talk about installing VMware Tools in Windows. We're also going to talk about installing VMware Tools in Linux. We're going to talk about configuring VMware Tools with VMware Toolbox. I'm going to show you how you can uh, search and sort to check the VMware Tools status. And then we're going to talk about how you can update VMware Tools. All right, so why do you need VMware Tools? I mentioned already that it provides a subset of drivers that in, are installed inside of the guest operating system that are optimized for the virtual hardware that the guest operating system was installed on. Keep in mind, the virtual machine is made up of a collection of virtual hardware, the virtual NIC, the virtual CPU, et cetera, et cetera. VMware Tools is sort of like that, you know, that single file that you install that gives better drivers to all of the devices that you have, the virtual devices that you have on the VM. Now in a physical machine, if it's an HP or a Dell or whatever the case is, sometimes you'll just install the operating system without going through uh, any of the HP or Dell or IBM software. What happens is you install the operating system and all of a sudden some of the devices aren't recognized until you install the proper drivers. So think of VMware tools as the drivers for everything. And we've taken a statement here out of the VMware documentation that basically says installing VMware tools in the guest operating system is vital. Although the guest operating system can run without VMware tools, you lose important functionality and convenience. Like the mouse won't respond like you want it to respond. It's not in sync. It's just annoying without the VMware tools. So for the novice in us, the VMware Tools appears as a simple application. VMware Tools service and, and daemon for Windows, it's VMware service.exe. Uh, for Linux and Solaris, it's VMware-guestd. Okay, so VMware Tools provides time synchronization between the host and guest. Now, that being said, for your Windows virtual machines at least, and also for your ESXi hosts, I would prefer if you pointed them to the PDC in your domain. So if you're if you're in an Active Directory domain, my recommendation is that all of your virtual machines should be pointed to the PDC of that domain controller. So there's a one of the domain controls is, is has the role of PDC. Point the guests to that. But furthermore, your ESXi host configure the NTP on them to also point to that particular domain controller. Now, if the domain controller is virtualized, you know, then I would I'm going to recommend that you read the time managing time within uh, vSphere. It's a very good white paper that you should download and install because if time isn't working properly, it could cause issues. So make sure if you're going to virtualize the PDC domain controller that you understand the implications and how to configure it properly. It is very good idea to, to, to virtualize it. Don't get me wrong. Just make sure the configuration is proper. From a Windows perspective, um, controls grabbing, releasing of the mouse so you don't have to do the control alt once you install VMware tools, you can move in and out of the window very easily. And contains the following drivers, SVGA driver, VMX Net 3, and the VMX Net Network driver in general. That's the one I recommended that you use when we were building the, uh, the uh, virtual machine. Has the bus logic SCSI for some guests. So if you have some backward compatible guests, maybe uh, if you're Peter Ving, typically uh, a Windows XP or a Windows Server 2003, typically it'll come up with a bus, bus logic SCSI. So again, it has the drivers for that. Memory control driver for diff for efficient memory allocation. So the TPS, the transparent page sharing, all of the memory, the ballooning, all the memory 
management things of virtual machines or vSphere in general are handled through the VMware tools. So it's critical that you have VMware tools installed. Sync drivers uh, for quiescing the uh, the I/O of the uh, the operating system for backup purposes. Again, if you want to tie into the VSS or if you just want to quiesce it so that you can take a snapshot and then back up the snapshot. So all of these things come in with the sync driver. You have then the VMware mouse driver so that the mouse can can respond and it feels natural instead of it's jerky and it's not responding or in sync. VMware Tools also provides a control panel which allows you to modify the settings, you know, shrinks virtual disks, uh, sets, uh, connects and disconnects virtual devices, so on and so forth. It allows you like, uh, to, to run certain scripts in the event that the power state of the virtual machine should change if you configure them. Uh, VMware User Process enables copy and paste of text between the guest and the host. Again, Windows, it's uh, VMWareUser.exe and Linux Solaris, it's VMware User. Uh, VMware Tools Installers, you know, ISO Images is installed with ESXi. When ESXi is installed, the VMware Tools ISO is also installed with ESXi. Now, obviously, if you wanted to upgrade or update that particular ISO after the installation of ESXi, you can also do so very easily. Now, without VMware Tools, the guest shutdown and restart options in the vSphere clients do not work. Now, I'm gonna, when we get back into the GUI, I'm going to show you this. The power management functions of the virtual machine allow you to power it off, power it on, reset it, and then shut down guest and power off guest. Now, that shutdown and power off guest are graceful shutdowns, which mimics clicking start and shutting down the machine gracefully, whereas power off and power on mimics um, physically yanking the cable out of the wall and it boom shuts down the machine reset is a hard reset so all of these things so if you don't have VMware tools installed you don't get access to the soft reset and the soft power down of the VM all right installing VMware tools in Windows it's simple it's easy I'm gonna show you how to do that uh, make sure you read the VMware guest install guide for info on uh, your specific Windows operating system now in Linux, it's also very simple to install um, VMware tools. Use supported Linux guest OS, of course. Use the RPM or TAR installer. RPM is preferred. For tall files, you can run VMware install.pl. These are just basic, simple things that, that you need to be aware of if you're going to run uh, VMware tools on your uh, Linux guest operating system. I've given you where uh, the tools are going to be installed, the configuration file locations, the executables, etc., etc. This is interesting. I'm going to show you this in the GUI in a second here. Um, if you're trying to upgrade VMware tools or if you're trying to install VMware tools and you wanted to figure out which one of your VMs does not have VMware tools installed, I'm going to show you how you can sort and check for VMware status. Now, updating uh, VMware tools is easy as long as there's a new ISO. If there's a new ISO, if you've upgraded ESXi, then you can just go to the guest under the VM properties and you can install upgrade VMware tools. And let me show you how we're going to do all of these things. Okay, so we're going to do all of these things on FSO2. FSO2 has finished installing Windows Server 2008. There it is. And VMware tools is not installed on it. So before I go ahead and install VMware tools, let me show you, uh, if I right click on FSO2 and go to the power options, you'll see that the only power options that I have right now are power off, equivalent of yanking the power cord out of the wall, suspend, I can suspend the VM, or I can hard reset it. Now I, can, I can't hard power it on, it's already powered on. Now these two are grayed out because VMware tools is not installed. Shutdown guest and restart guest are the equivalent of soft shutdown and soft restart. It's the equivalent of clicking on start here and doing uh, the reboot instead of doing a hard shutdown. Now installing VMware tools, very simple. You can right click on FSO2 here, drag down to guest, and you can click on install upgrade VMware tools. Now once you do that, it's going to prompt you, yes, are you sure? Okay. Now, inside of the VM itself, in a second here, we're going to see the auto run start the installation of VMware tools. And there it is. Now, prior to installing VMware tools, my mouse is stuck. See, I'm trying to go all the way to the left here. It's stuck. It won't move anywhere. And you can see that the mouse isn't responding as much as I'd like it to. 
Now, it's a simple, what, what happens here for the VMware tools, just so you know, it's just mounting the ISO inside of the VM, the ISO that I talked to you that it gets installed with the X ASXi, it gets mounted inside of the VM, and then it's a very standard and straightforward installation. Once it's done, it's going to uh, require a reboot. I'm going to click on next here. I'm just going to go through uh, a typical installation. And you'll see that even before the tools are completely installed, um, the mouse will start, um, it'll be able to get out of the window here because it, uh, it took effect. Because the driver has taken effect. Let's go ahead and click on finish. And let's go ahead and restart this VM. Aha, what is the problem here? I forgot to disable the CD-ROM, didn't I? So now that I've installed my guest operating system and that's completed, again, you want to make sure that you go back in and clean up after you're done, right? So we want to come down here to where it says CD-ROM and I want to set this to client device. I don't want it to keep an IO open to that particular data store. Now, uh, a quick uh, shout out here. If you wanted to do pre uh, Control Alt Delete, you can do on the physical keyboard Control Alt Insert will initiate Control Alt Delete inside of this window. Or you can always come up to VM here, come down to Guest, and then you can do Send Control Alt Delete. All right, now the way to know that uh, VMware tools have been installed is if you uh, select up here, you'll see that you have now access to the icon. You can right-click this particular icon and click on Open uh, VMware Tools. You can disable the icon if you wanted to. So if you click on Open VMware Tools, the other thing that I wanted to mention to you here is if you click on Start, under the Control Panel, you can get access to the same uh, VMware Tools as well. And there it is. You can get access to it. So once you open VMware Tools, let's go ahead and close out of here. You have access to several things. So first of all, you'll notice that time synchronization is disabled by default. So the VM is not synchronizing time with the ESXi host that it's living on. And the idea behind that is because it's a Windows virtual machine, you want to synchronize the time with your PDC domain controller. That's best, of, best practice. Uh, you can enable, you know, select the checkbox to enable VMware tools on the taskbar. You can notify if updates are available. So again, if there was an update that's available, you can initiate it from outside of the virtual machine or you can come into the control panel and click on update tools and it will update it for you. Under devices here, there are no removable devices that are available. Um, if this virtual machine had any removable devices, then you could manipulate them and control them uh, from here. From a scripts perspective, this is what I told you about. You're able to run a particular script based on uh, an event, right? So if suspend guest operating system, then you can um, use script and you can determine what script to use. You can use the default or you can use a custom script and you can, of course, um, select where it's located you can run it now as well if you choose to do so shrink so if the virtual disk isn't in persistent mode you know that it's disabled by default so if you want it uh, to be able to change it or shrink it you'll be able to uh, you have to put it in persistent mode now about will give you the version of VMware tools that is currently running and you know just some copyright issues so that's from a VMware tools installation perspective so if I click on cancel now and let's go ahead and close this virtual machine one of the things I want to quickly show you is if I right click on FSO2 now, go to power, voila, you see how I can control now soft reset and, and soft power down of this particular virtual machine. Now, if you wanted to look at the status of VMware tools across all the virtual machines in your data center, um, maybe in your entire vCenter cluster, you want to take a look at it at the actual cluster level, whatever the case might be, you can select the cluster here. Select the Virtual Machines tab, or you can go up to the actual data center. Select the Virtual Machine tab. Now, you don't see it here, right? So you don't have access to it. Those tabs don't show anything. So to do that, 
we are going to right click on the tabs up here and these are the ones that are selected now you can select more or less depending on what you're trying to view but there's a particular view that I like is VMware tool status once you click that it'll add an extra tab here for VMware tools and you'll see it right here so now you'll see that some of the virtual machines it's you know the VMware tools on them are okay which means they're compatible others they're not even installed so this would give you an idea of you know what you need to do and where you need to go in order to install VMware tools and which ones are compliant and which ones are not that's all there is to it from a VMware tools perspective it's, it's relatively easy very straightforward enhances the performance enhances the experience significantly and one last thing before we switch back to our presentation if you wanted to upgrade VMware tools like I mentioned you can do it from within the VM by accessing the console or you can just select the guest click down here if there's an upgrade it will upgrade VMware tools for you automatically alright so what have we covered in this lesson we started off by talking about why we need VMware tools and we talked about the fact that VMware tools deploys a set of drivers that are needed to enhance the virtual devices that are being installed on your virtual machine we also talked about the fact that VMware tools creates frameworks for things like backups so that you can quiesce the operating system and create a snapshot of it in a moment in time and back up that snapshot if you wanted to do application level snapshotting using VSS depending on the application like for example new SRM will allow you to do certain of that functionality but if you wanted to tie into VSS file level backups then you go through VMware tools those backup utilities go through VMware tools so a lot of enhancements a lot of need for VMware tools from an SVGA driver from a NIC driver from a mouse driver so on and so forth we talked about how you can install VMware tools in Windows we talked about how to configure them and how to configure this uh, the syncing uh, with, the, with the time and the host and running of the scripts depending on what happens from a power state perspective we talked about how you can install VMware tools into Linux and where what are the default directories uh, that, that it's installed on how to run VMware tools in Linux we talked about how to search and sort to check if the VMware uh, tool status if they're installed if they're not installed so that you make sure all of your VMs are compliant and if there's anything that's not working properly with a particular VM the first thing you want to check is if uh, VMware tools installed on it or not we also talked about how you can update VMware tools if there's a new version of ESXi that came you know that you've installed uh, and or if you're just installing a new ISO for VMware tools that has a particular enhancement that you need how to upgrade VMware tools finally I hope this lesson was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing